All right, in the last video, we created the cards class. So if you haven't seen that, you're going to want to go back and watch that because in this class, we're going to create an array of card objects called my card. And we're setting the array up to be eight items long. We're also having a corresponding array of X, Y, and face values. X will be the X coordinate for placing the card. Y will be the Y coordinate for placing the card. And FV is your face value. What card will display when you click to turn it right side up. So the face value here would be three. We actually will increase it so this one is one, two, three, because zero in my array, when you look at cards, zero is actually the back of the card, which is what's showing here. All right, so we have our setup where I've set my initial X and Y in face value, and I've set my size to 500 by 600, because ultimately you're going to expand this game to 16 cards. We're going to fill our arrays. Um, since we have the arrays are eight cards long, we need to have our arrays hold eight, and the index will go from zero, because arrays always start at zero, up to eight. So we have the um, y value of index is equal to my x, x equal to my x, face value equals to i plus one, again, because the initial zero value is just the back of the card. And then we're going to check to see if the x value is less than 345. Each time we go through the loop, we'll increment it, moving it over 115. Each card is 105 pixels wide, so that leaves a 10 pixel space between them. If x is greater than 345, we reset x back to 15, and we add 150 to y, which is 140 pixels high, so we're leaving a 10 pixel space with that as well. So that gets the cards displayed on screen. Actually, this gets the cards displayed on screen. For int i equals 0, i less than 8, i plus plus, my card equals new cards with the x value. This is calling the cards and creating that instance of the array of the cards. And then we draw them on the screen in the draw section by doing a step through a for loop eight times and we just call the display function of the cards. And the first time we call display, it's automatically show is set to zero, which is the back of the card. And then we have a um, option called flip me. So if mouse is pressed, we're gonna call the flip me function. The flip me function will go through and check, again, using a for loop to step through it eight times to see if you are in the loop. And you're going to notice that if mouse X, or this is why we have this set up with arrays, we can check the mouse X, I, and less than, greater than mouse X, I, less than X, I plus 105, because we know the card width. Um, mouse is greater than Y, I, and less than Y, I plus 150. That could actually be 140, because that's the actual size of the card. We have a buffer in there that shouldn't impact the way it works, really. And then we call my card I display front, whichever one's triggered. So you'll see, and I'll show you that the 140 shouldn't matter. Whenever we click on any of the cards, it flips over. That's as far as we're going to get this week. So you're going to want to create that. And then next week, you're going to finish creating the card game.